Hello YouTube, this is Ellsworth Day 101 and EllsworthTutorials.com. Today I'm going to show you something uh, interesting. Well, say you have two screens. Uh, I'm going to actually going to have a third by tomorrow because it's on its way in the mail. And um, you want to remotely access a computer, but you want both screens to work like both screens are attached to that computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll be remotely accessing the computer on the top um, with this computer right here. So first I'm going to open up that computer and it'll connect and and here we go. So I'm using this computer like it's right here and it works fine. Well now I'm going to log off. Okay. Now what we have to do is edit this file right here so that way um so that way it'll look like both these monitors are attached to that computer I don't know how else to put it you don't even need a graphic card in this computer to support uh, two monitors two monitors because um, it's all done over the network with this computer so you theoretically don't even have to have a, a video card in that computer and you can still get all these screens to work on it so what we're gonna do is right click click open with and open it with the notepad and this is all going to come up these are all our settings so we have to add something and what we're going to add will be this right here spin monitors colon i colon one so i'm just going to copy and paste it and you can put it anywhere so i'll just put it right here and right click paste Okay, so now we're going to exit out of it, save. Now when we open it, both monitors come up. Now it acts as one screen. The toolbar spins across both screens. As you can see right here, I have a dual screen wallpaper set up. So it acts as one monitor. I can right click, go into properties, settings, and it acts as uh, one screen spammed across and you can use as many screens as you want with this the only thing that has to uh, be able to support multiple monitors is this computer so I could have I could plug five monitors in this computer and then I can have all five remotely access that computer right there and uh, when you open up a window like Firefox uh, to get it on one monitor you have to use a program called split view so that way each monitor acts like each screen is split down the middle but otherwise since it acts as one if I try to maximize it it'll maximize across both screens which is useful for some programs but for others it's not well I'm only going to use this computer as a web server so I don't really have to worry about that stuff so that's how you uh, can span uh, monitors across with multiple monitors and remote desktop it's pretty easy I have a 100 Mbit connection from this computer to that computer, so everything's pretty smooth. I plan on getting a 100 uh, Mbit PCI card for that for that computer, so I can bypass my router and go from this straight to here, since this has dual Ethernet, and that'll be a lot faster connections. But uh, yeah, the more monitors you have, the higher resolution, which has to be um, like transferred over the Ethernet cord which means uh, the, the slower it'll be because it'll take more bandwidth so I wouldn't recommend this if you're going over the internet but over the network it runs perfectly fine so thank you for watching my video please check out my other ones and please subscribe